Okay, going to show you the serious dangers that result from gambling. And I'm going to read you an article from gamblinggamblerscounseling.com, an article called The Dangers of Gambling. And it goes through how, how gambling has all kinds of not only health dangers, but also uh, just life dangers too, dangers you'll experience in your life, like financial problems and all this other stuff. So I'm going to read you the article. And it says, uh, Despite the high level of uncertainty, gambling is very much... Uh, evident, and lots of people still take an active part in it. From young to the old, no one is left out of the adventure of gambling. People often get to spend all that they have with the hope of hitting a jackpot on a lucky day. And if you don't, then there goes all your finances, Finances, basically. Uh, present t- trend. Gambling has taken an amusing trend with the availability of online sports betting, especially now with COVID, the lockdowns and everything, uh, the Jesuit COVID you know, pandemic, basically the, the online you know, activities just gone crazy. And I guarantee you, gambling online has probably got a lot higher too. People can now predict the outcomes of various sports matches on their mobile phones with the hope of, of um, earning more than uh, that they've invested. Gambling is a very addictive act and it can be quite difficult to, count, to control or stop. What does the Bible say about addictions? Well, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 12. Because the Bible does condemn addictions. First Corinthians six twelve. All things are lawful unto me, but all oops. Sorry, I'm getting used to using this mouse. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Okay? When you're into an addiction, you're brought under the power of something, which is a sin. So gambling addiction or any kind of addiction, whether it be alcohol addiction, drug addiction, whatever, it's a sin. Uh yeah. Yeah, so many gamblers often need assistance of a therapist to break the gambling addiction. Yeah, right there. Um, to make it more fascinating, popular faces and brands have used or are used as ambassador, ambassadors and sponsors to get more people to be interested in it. And while gambling is, is likely to pay, it is also likely to not pay. Not but for the zeal and just play, or for, but for the zeal and just play and win a massive amount compared to the amount a bet place a lot of people join this risky adventure uh knowing that winning is by chance yeah and then when you lose you lose all your finances pretty much uh sorry just go up yeah uh, winning it but winning is by chance exactly you're not winning you're not earning your wages properly let me show the scripture on that pretty sure it's uh first timothy first thessalonians chapter three uh maybe uh, Actually, sorry, I think it's Second Thessalonians. Sorry about that. Chapter three. Uh, where was that? Uh, there was a verse which talked about, uh, but not. Yeah, here it is. For uh, Second Th- Second Thessalonians chapter three and verse ten. For even. Uh, when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Okay, you earn your wages properly. You work and earn your wages. You don't just bet it all with gambling and try to win it that way. Okay, if you don't work, you shouldn't eat. As per Second uh, Thessalonians chapter three and verse number ten. Uh, no one is accurate. Sorry, no one. Ha- sorry, just uh, how do I do that? Okay. No one has accurate details about the certainty of an uncertain issue, and no gambler knows the precise results result of a game, but they can make an assumption that either can be true or false. They make bets based on, on expected earnings, then gladly and anxiously wait the result of the game or this number on the uh, die. Exactly. Uh, it, might, it might not even yield a positive result the first time, so Another trial is imminent, and this continues until a slight victory is recorded, but a lot of resources will be dumped for a slight victory, and in only a few instances, the winners come big. So what So what happens when there is no win? Let's look at the dangers of gambling, okay? associated dangers. Uh, as much as there can be a positive side to gambling, it is also necessary to, it is necessary to be aware of the dangers that are associated with gambling. Exactly, because again, all sin is negative. All sin will harm you. So you got number one, loss of money. Okay, this is a major uh, danger of gambling. It, it is uh, as simple as if you don't win the bet or gamble, your money is gone. Even with its consequences, and by the way, too, a lot of the gambling machines are rigged. By the way, too, because if they were not rigged, uh, the the company would not win, would not 
get any money. So they're rigged, believe me. Uh, even uh, with this uh, consciousness, a lot of people are not bothered, but it is expedient that the danger, or sorry, it is ex expedient yeah, that the danger is considered before the gambling, as there will be no refund. Exactly. Addiction, okay, like we said earlier, 1 Corinthians 6 12. Um, you know, not brought, not be brought under the power of any. This is one of the very one of the very grave dangers of gambling, as a trial can convince a person and then trap a person into not letting go till it gets um, to the point of da of a daily routine and a lifetime of activity. Quote: A person who is a compulsive gambler can recover with treatment, but it is hard sometimes for a person struggling with gam with compulsive gambling to realize they need help. Unquote. Says uh, Natalia S. David. Um, I think she's a physician, apart from the fact that a person can spend all, all his or her money before the day ends on gambling, it, it, it has health problems that are attached to and can affect the person psychologically. This will result in a person having to receive treatment, like I showed in my other video, uh, the, the physical health effects that come from gambling. Uh, debts. Gambling can make a person go deep into an ocean of debts, as there will be a need, will be need to get money to gamble. Even when there isn't enough again, uh, there will be a need to borrow from others to pay debts because the gamble or bet did not pay. Quote, sometimes a problem, sometimes, sometimes problem gamblers spend the money that should go to food, rent, or heat uh, on their habit, on their habit, and spend more time gambling than with the kids, a spouse, uh, or a spouse, and spouse who need them, unquote, says Mary Hartwell Walker. Uh, e e D D whatever that means, a licensed psychologist and marriage and family counselor. Exactly. Get all kinds of problems and, and family debts and whatever. Uh, family woes. There is a need to spend money on something important. The husband or wife that gambles will impede that and will result in arguments that break up and, and that can break up a home. The children can also be receiving the end of the issues uh, as they can be left in a car while their parents gamble at a casino. And these will make the child feel forgotten as they will not have enough time with their parents anymore. Yeah, exactly. Terrible for you. Uh, your children shouldn't be going through that. Uh, because, quote, because the gambling, oops, I keep hitting my mic. Quote, because the gambling is known to trigger these addiction pathways, it is often considered to be a behavioral addiction or behavior that can become compulsive over time, causing a lot of harms to people's lives. People's lives. Unquote. Haley uh, Schaffer. And she's also, I think, a psychologist. Then it can cause depression, a lot of things associated with letting, with getting depressed. It could be the result of losing self-esteem after uh, losing a, sorry, losing a streak, or the feeling of not having enough time to spend with family, or attend events that will be, or attend events because more time will be spent gambling than with the social world. There is this, ex there's this anxiety, anxiety that grips gamblers, and it, it's always there. So w when there is a poor result. There comes a form, a great form of depression. There's a great form of depression. Yeah, that's what it said. Um, it's always hard to stop gamblers when a very long period has been placed on it. Though pe some people uh, will get to win and they win big, but others not as lucky. Lucky. And by the way, too, when you win, you're basically taking out someone else's money too, so you're stealing. You know, Ephesians 4:28 says, "Let him that stole steal no more." So it's a sin. Uh, but others are not as lucky results in terrible things. So before you take a step forward, step, step towards gambling, take time to also know the dangers because it comes with side effects and you might not have been drenched in its guilt before you even realize your existence. Okay. The bottom line is, is that gambling, like all sin, has uh, negative health effects and sin will harm you in any single way. And one last verse of scripture, I covered this in my other video. First um, Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10 for the love of money is the root of all evil and while, which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves with through with many sorrows okay gambling results in many sorrows because it's the love of money so as so as a result many sorrows will come they pierce themselves through many sorrows that's simple they have hemp they have health problems physical and mental and psychological neurological and they have family problems too they pierce themselves with many sorrow so avoid gambling, it's a wicked sin, and like all sin, it will harm you. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.